This talk is called Introducing ArxJS 6. Um, I'm Ben Lesh, as already introduced. So new features in 6. So what, what's new in 6 is we've got new unhandled error behavior. So this is a breaking change from 5. Uh, the, the old way that we were doing things, every version of, of previous version of RxJS did this, was if you have an unhandled error, which means an error that gets all the way to the, down to the bottom of your chain of observation, and you don't have an error handler there, it's going to rethrow that error synchronously. Uh, and in the new version, in RxJS 6, we're going to schedule that error to be rethrown. So the, the important thing is, you, you, with Rx, for RxJS 6, you do not want to depend on that synchronous error rethrowing for unhandled errors. So let's, let's look at what you would have to do to refactor this bad pattern. So, so I hear, here's what we're doing here. And you'll notice in, inside my catch, I've taken all the logic of what we're doing in catch, and I've already kind of wrapped it in a method, or in a function, rather. And what you can do is just move that function to the error handler. It's actually even less code now. And now it'll even handle errors if the error happens to be asynchronous. So this will work in RxJS 6. The moral of this story is that the code that's going to break when you upgrade to 6 around this was code that was expecting unexpected errors, which is pretty amazing. RxJS 6 solves this problem by scheduling the, the errors, the unhandled errors, to be rethrown in a set timeout, just like this. Uh, the, the lingo for this is called host report errors. And what this does is it throws it in its own call stack where it can't bubble up to hit anybody's try catch. And that means it's going to get reported to window on error or process on error where you would expect unhandled errors to go. In RxJS version 6, there are roughly two that you'll care about as an Angular developer. You will import everything that is a type or a scheduler or a helper from RxJS. And all of the operators get imported from RxJS slash operators. And that's it. So again, the two you care about, just to go over it, uh, RxJS has all the types, all the creation methods, all of the schedulers, all of the helpers under it. Basically, anything that's not an operator comes from this, pretty much. And then all of the operators that you would pass to pipe come from RxJS slash operators. So those are all the changes. So great, Ben. How are we going to migrate and update everything? Well, to, to, up, to update, to upgrade uh, RxJS, what you can do is you can just, if you're using Yarn or NPM, you can right now say RxJS at RC. And then right there, you've already got RxJS 6. And things are going to start breaking if you're using RxJS 5 features until you install RxJS-Compat. And what RxJS-Compat is, is it is a library that provides a bridge to all of the old import port sites and old types that existed in RxJS 5.5. And if you're using the newest version of Angular CLI, it's even easier. What you do there is you just do ng-update RxJS. And that's because we've added schematics to the RxJS library and package itself that will run with, with uh, ng-update and basically do the previous two steps I was showing for you. rxjs-tslint. And you can actually just install it, add a migra migrate tslint json to your directory. And all these instructions are in the readme for the tslint rule. Um, and then run tslint fix. And it will go through and update all of your dot-chained operators to be pipeable operators. It'll update all of your observable dot-ofs to be just of. It'll make everything 6.0 compliant for you. Thank you very much.